boys, it has been four years. Yes, Madden 20 was the last year Gale Sayers was in Madden, and I wasn't even a content creator then. That was way before I was a content creator. I remember using him as a no money spent player, and I absolutely loved him, and he's finally back in the game. It took all the way to 96 overalls. He gets an AKA card, the Kansas Comet. We got him on the squad, man. I'm super excited, dude. You can probably tell I'm a little bit more happier in this video than normal. I I genuinely love seeing new cards that I've not seen in forever, so this should be a fun gameplay, man. He has some cool abilities, too. Let's get into it. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EZMA, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. The first thing, before we look at stats that I want to mention with these new AKA cards, which is also super cool, is they are doubling down on chem now. So you can get two times bears. You can get the two times old school, which is really easy to get as well because you only need six. So that means you can double down on a lot of cards and honestly get really easy stacks or really easy theme teams and get plus one speed regardless on a guy like him. So I know this is the first drop of the double down, but the more old schools you'll get, you'll only need like three cards to make a theme team, which is going to be super insane. I know that's like a quick off topic thought, but still really cool. But he does have 96 base speed, which is like the average for the running back right now in the game. 98 excel, 93 agility. The carrying, we would have loved to see a bit above 90, but I guess if you're like a receiving back this year, they kind of, I know it doesn't say receiving back, but they basically made him one. They always like tank your carrying for a Whatever reason. I don't know what that is or why they do that, but 88 carrying on him. But he also does have really good route running, 86 short route running with an 87 catching. Things you love to see in the game. And then look at that change direction 97 change direction, 95 break tackle. And then also his X Factor. Although it's not freight train, it's not angry runs like Marshawn Lynch. So, no, I don't think the Kansas Comet could be RB1. I don't even think it's possible for him to be RB1 over Marshawn. He's still a good card because I think Route Tech is really good for zero AP, by the way. You can get Backfield Master for zero AP, which is cool. And then his discounted ability bug. You can get Energizer for zero, Evasive for one, or even the Backyard Running Back for one, which is basically, I think it's what? Yeah, it's Hot Route Master, or Running Back Apprentice, and also Playmaker, which is kind of cool. But the stack we're running, I like the most personally. Let's take him to a game, man. First time seeing Gale in four years. All right, so we are in our Super Bowl in the first game, and we're getting the ball first, I can tell, because we got our home jerseys on. So that means we're going to get the ball a half as well. This should be a fun game. A lot of running. And I'm going to try to pass the ball more than I typically do in running gameplays because they kind of built him, especially with the X-Factors as well, to be a receiving back. So we're going to showcase him both ways. All right, here we go, man. Number 40, no arm sleeves, no gloves, no nothing. Straight up Gale Sayers, man. Let's see how what we can do on the first carry. Uh-oh, we got the click offer, boys. We're going to have to work a little bit here. The click offs are going crazy already. We're going to mix it in the run already, man. See if we can baby bait him to go with the B route, and then we could dump it down to the Comet. Looks like he's using a D-line member, but look at the Comet falling forward as well. I know it's not the craziest play in the world, but you saw the fast juke. It is there. We got evasive on him. Already looking good, man. See, if you pass the ball a lot, this might be the guy for you guys. He could be actually really, really insane with this ability stack. And, oh, uh, there's really nothing at all. He has a lot of D-line X factors. Now, we haven't even had a chance to actually run the ball yet. I'm actually going to run it to the strong side here. Normally, I like to flip this a lot, but you can see he's... Okay, no outsiders and inside stuff. Probably the worst of guy to play against in a running back gameplay. We're going to make it work, though, boys. We're going to we're gonna still win this game. It's We got to. It's our Super Bowl. All right, come on, man. Let's make some big plays. If it's the Comet or literally anybody, we're looking for it. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, see, the thing is, is like he's really not user in the D-line or user in the underneath routes. Everything else is wide open. It's just unfortunate that it's coming when we're recording a running back video, right? So I can't run. I don't know if he has no outsiders on this other guy as well. I don't even know who that is on the D-line on the left. That's War. That No, that's Ray Nitschke. So there's no way. We need to make some plays. He's going to click off. Oh, no click off. See? I mean, I'll take that, man. Four yards, our best run yet, and we're still negative. Oof. Ah, it's so tough because I can't run to the right side at all. Literally, I can't unless I double team it. Then the inside stuff's going to be free. Let's see if that cut back. He is getting skinny there, though. You saw that, man. We almost came through. I think if we had a little bit of a tinier running back, we would have been gone, but it was still close. So if you know me, you know I'm the biggest disbeliever in any sort of screens or anything. I might try it out after this play, though. First off, we're just going to do a normal base out of here. And uh-oh. Oh, we're feeling fast out here. So close again, man. Now we're turning up. We started off awfully. Yeah, he's here. He's here to stay now. And maybe we can get him with a quick snap verticals right here. Maybe catch him lacking a little bit with the running back. Let's see. Oh, man. This is really tough right here with that basic zone, man. It's This guy's a, hard, a little hard to pass against. Sometimes just running a basic dive like this out of like a trips formation is just such a good run play. And it looks like he guess ran right there. Both of his slot corners came in immediately. All right, sadly, I think I have to block the comment right now. We're trying, dudes. I mean, this is like a real, like, actual gameplay you're going to see right here. It's not me just forcing the ball to him every single time. This is, like, actually kind of a struggle bus all around. Let's see if we can go ahead and pick it up. I think we're going to get the first with Pitts. 
Uh-oh, boys. Here we go. Do we run with the common? Do we risk it all in the bowl? I don't know how comfortable I feel right now. I can't run it to Chase Young's side, so we're flipping it. Come on, man. We need this big fourth down. And he was somehow in the backfield untouched. The defensive end went. Yeah, that's Madden for you, boys. That's Madden. I know I, I, I never would run right there in a the situation, but I felt like I had to for the video. The D end, Ray Nitschke, went un touched definitely unfortunate but good news is we get ball a half i mean we did the most right there and it did not end up working looks like he is running as well come on man cmc ain't no comment all right let's see what he has for us right here the time is ticking man he already used his timeout as well to set it up earlier let's see if we can get some pressure maybe we can get the ball back and still even end up scoring before half let's see boys what the defense is looking like oh yeah i'm playing everything right now everything is back come on hey, boys we need this badly right now man i don't know how i'm feeling Ah, dude, I don't like this defense at all. I'm gonna be honest with you, I do not like it at all. But I'm, we gotta get, we gotta get a little bit of pressure off this left side, and hopefully he just has all his routes guarded to the right side. That left side is naked for us. Come on, man, let's see what he has. We're underneath, man. I think everything was bagged right there. Ah, oh, I do not like this play at all, boys. We did man it up with Jair Brown, though. He went for the quick seam. We always man that up. Now we have four chances. If we can't punch it in right here. We might have to just call the chalks with this gameplay. Like surely we punch it in, right? I see Chase Young over there. Let me double team Ch that Chase Young. We got to get all the way out, right? He guess ran. You cannot guess run against stretches. As you guys know, it sucks everybody in. There we go. It took a little bit when we finally get Gale Sayers on board, man. Honestly, a pretty solid opponent. Although he didn't really do much on offense, we got to see a little bit of what he had so far. A lot of empty. We need to get a stop here. I at least hold the three because we do get ball a half. And I play. I, I can't promise you, but I think we're going to have a better drive with the Comet than we did on the first and second one. And let's go, Karloftis the GOAT. He has Rob Havenstein, and he has a solid team all around. He just doesn't have that secure. And come on, man. Where's our pressure, man? We need a little bit of something from... Where's our pressure? There we go. Uh, we ended up making his Doug Williams fumble on the last play. I know I didn't commentate over it. He ran a quarterback draw, so yeah, I don't know. We get ball a half, though. We have a running back gameplay, so we can turn that chew clock on a little bit, win ourselves a little bit of a bowl. Uh-oh, see, I feel like this is what you don't want to do, right? I mean, you can win the outside. You could get lucky win the outside, but you're going to put me in field goal range when I'm running the ball and going to be able to milk so we can take a two-possession lead no matter what, or they could cheat me like that. Okay. Yeah, I knew it. So sometimes you can get lucky at onsides. You guys know onsides this is probably the best they've ever been. A little unfortunate, but I guess that makes the game a little bit more fair because it's already originally broken. Oh, we got him in panic mode. Derrick Henry X Factor, you can go ahead and milk because we'll milk right back and we'll milk it all the way to the last second. You want to use your Derrick Henry magic now, go ahead. Having Derrick Henry on your bench is definitely like... That's that. You, those are the Madden players you just do not want to see in head-to-head, -head, but I respect it, honestly. He is feeding him, though. Every single place came in. Oh, yeah, there's the Derrick Henry I know. And just, just because the Derrick Henry on the bench, I think we got to wrap back, right? This is definitely a true claw game. We cannot allow a guy like this to have freedom. And let's see what he has right into him. I was about, oh, my. Chuck Howley, like, teleported to the ball. I was about to say he threw it right into a double zone. Hey, I'll take it, Chuck. Come on. Hey, let's get it. Let's get it. This guy's actually has some really solid run defense so far. So we are playing a little decent. I would like to get a little bit better plays, but at least we're getting a real authentic gameplay. We're not playing some scrub defense out here. Like that's what he doesn't want to do. I don't think he wants to turn this into a passing game because we're going to start eating right now. And let's see what he has for us. The Comet is wide open, though. Get a quick juke out of there. See, that's what we want to see, man. He's definitely a passing back. I don't think I like running with him as much because you have X factors and just way bigger running backs in general. But I think he's probably, yeah, one of the elite pass catchers at least and we got that chew clock on while we're moving let's see oh we actually have a chance right here boys gail sayers get out oh yeah that juke move is crazy I, I, honestly like he feels really good we're just playing a good run defender right now let's keep making it happen man gail sayers passing game we've done it dumped it down in the same route every single time and if you want to guard gail sayers opens up the game for the rest of everybody else let's go baby I think he thinks we're running on every single play because you can see he all out blitzes like every first down let's see if he does it right here yeah you can see he is very predictable. If we were running any sort of passing gameplay, this would be the most Mickey Mouse ever, but I got to switch it up a little bit, I guess. Maybe run down seconds. Oh, I kind of want to run right now. I'm not going to do it, but I kind of want to. And let's see what he has right here. Maybe we can get him in the flat. No, sir, man. B's a risky ball. I'm not going to lie. I'm kicking. I, this guy is not, not the worst player in the world, and he's stopping the run. He's stopping everything. I'd be dumb not to kick here. I, I feel like this is it would be the dumbest thing ever. I mean, the game is over. I mean, his only chance of anything was getting that onside, and we still have held him to zero points in three possessions. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. I probably should have just went for it because the offense has not been there for opponent, but yeah, I'm taking my dub.
so much, and we're still going to finish the game with way more receiving yards than we are passing or rushing yards. I don't know. Like I said, we played against a guy with a lot of D-line running abilities and also a, a click-off user. It is a little bit hard at times. Come on, man. Oh, this is what we love to see, man. When they get in that tight, man. Oh, yeah. Tight is free, dude. I don't know. I played it all last year's Madden 23 meta. Easiest meta to play against ever. Oh, please, man. I am begging. Please run cover zero like you have on every first. I don't know if he thinks we're going to run right here, but if he does, we got our guy. All right, never mind. He's just not going to do it anymore. Uh-oh. Y'all see it, though. The Comet. Yeah, he's a receiving back for us, boys. Come on, man. The Comet ending it off with a big play. That's kind of the dagger right there, too. Super Bowl dub, man. No better feeling. And the Comet had himself a solid gameplay all the way at the end. And the click off. The... That was a crazy animation we got right there. I don't know if y'all saw that juke. I'll tell you, we juked out three people. Trying to poop on our gameplay, but the combat is still coming up big and victorious in the Super Bowl. Get the dive in. Yeah, that's the day. Hey, that's the topic right there, man. GG's. The comment, I know it wasn't the best rushing game all around, but like I said, we played no outsiders and inside stuff. A guy with a click off user. It was a rough game all around, but we still ended with around 60 yards rushing, two touchdowns, and over 70 yards receiving all around. It was a great gameplay, man. I definitely think he's a passing running back if you pass the ball a lot, but not a bad card all around. I think Marshawn is still probably number one. I still like Jamal. I still like CMC probably a little bit better, but I think around that top five running back range, a solid card. We love seeing Gale Sayers back in the game.